Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mine electronium, how much I'm getting uh, for 24 hours mining electronium. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, which wallets I'm using, which pool. Uh, I'm gonna show you my bad file. I'm gonna include it in the description section. And hopefully you're gonna enjoy this video. After watching the video, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'm gonna try to help you out. If there is something that I'm not doing correct, feel free to correct me and you can obviously share anything down below in the comment section. Before that, let's quickly look at the market and it's been crazy few hours when it comes to cryptocurrency with the Fed that came out from South Korea, market plummeted and now it is trying to recover and it's looking much, much better at the moment. Still uh, double red digits in some of the cryptocurrencies, single red digits but some are showing signs of green ripple. I guess maybe the Korean government or the banks in Korea uh, managed to buy some ripple on the cheap when it was down. Uh, in the meantime, Stella is doing very good, although I'm a little bit disappointing of myself because I wasn't expecting for Stella to go that much higher uh, because I sold um, the one I was trading a little bit earlier, but hey, it's one of those things. Moving on now to Electronium, here it is, uh, let's refresh, 0.1543 cents, 1.50% decrease in the last 24 hours, but it's okay considering the, uh, you know, the news and the food we had uh, spread around. Now let's move on to mining and how I'm doing it and what I'm obviously getting. I'm mining on etn.spacepools.org, this is my, uh, obviously screen as you can see this is my wallet this is how much i've been paid so far 1260 and on pending balance i have 7.39 i'm going to share with you the results for 24 hours and we take it from there now there's two wallets you could use one of them it is the electronium uh, wallet manager this is the one i'm personally use but i'm not logged in because it logged me out it's been sitting like this and my uh, phone uh, battery is dead at the moment, so I can't see the password. There's so many passwords these days that you just can't remember all of them. It's very uh, easy to set up, uh, nothing too complicated. All you gotta do is put emails, uh, numbers, so they can send you the code, and, and it's very, very easy to do. You also can get yourself a paper wallet, an offline paper wallet, which let's go back and I'll show you how it's done. At least I can do that. So right here, I'm gonna include all the links in the description section so you can just click on them and do your thing. Now the advisable thing is to uh, download the zip and then you do offline, but personally myself, I, I did it like this or I'm gonna do it in the video for you to see it like this. So let's get started. All you do in here is move the mouse around. You do the same thing if you download the zip file uh, the only difference is that um, you're doing it offline, but you do exactly the same thing. Then you click a save wallet as a PDF, and I've already have one saved up, but it's empty, I'm not using, so feel free to copy anything you want, there is nothing inside. Once you obviously open the PDF, you are advised to print this, and you can create yourself a wallet. This is the public wallet address, which you need to copy and paste in your miner. Uh, you know for you to receive your payments and this is the private uh, obviously that you need to uh, keep safe and, and never share with anybody else otherwise somebody may empty your wallet so this is the two options I've chosen to go for this one simply because it's more easy to track my payments to access it and if need be to send them out paper wallet as you all know or if you don't it's a paper wallet it's an offline wallet therefore it's a bit more difficult to check the balance send it out it's not as easy i mean you can do it but it's not as straightforward as this one right here right now let me show you uh, the miner i'm using is this one here claymore crypto node or crypto Knight, whatever you want to call it a gpu miner uh catalyst uh version 11.2 linked will be down below so you can download the miner for yourself obviously i'm mining with the amd uh cards and here it is one of my miners the rx 580 8 gb msi gaming x cards i'm getting 4595 596 hashes which is not too bad i haven't tweaked anything i'm mining 
on my Ethereum blockchain driver. So if I want to switch between uh, mining Electronium to Pearl or Ethereum, it's very straightforward for me. All I do is I close this and I open the other miner and I'm done and uh, ready to go. Right, now let me show you my batch file. I'm gonna include the information in the description section. So if you want, you can copy and paste everything. Of course, you're gonna have to change the wallet address, which is this one right here, a quite long one uh, to yours. Otherwise you will be mining and giving me the, the earnings. I would, uh, you know, I would be grateful, but I wouldn't advise you to do it. And um, you can of course change this for yourself. Um, my settings for this particular miner are, as you can see, the C, C clock 1150, the MC clock 2000, CV DDC 850, MV DDC 850. That's it, pretty straightforward. Once I run it, this is the results I'm getting. And I must tell you guys that when you are mining Electronium, actually the wattage goes down. This particular rig I was running when I was mining Ethereum or Pro at about, I don't remember exactly, I would say at around, because obviously I have this where I track the wattage. I think it was around 770, but that was uh, that is including the fan plugged in. Mm, so if you take the fan a little bit lower, but at the moment it is on 600 watts. So what I'm trying to say is that mining electronium, you actually save a little bit of power. You're gonna end up spending less money on your power cost, which is very nice. And it's not too heavy to mine electronium, at least for now. So I'm very happy with that. Now, the other thing I wanna share with you is that um, you need to change, so let's go right here. You need to change your virtual memory. At least I had to do it, it wasn't working. If I didn't do it, it kept giving me an error. So you need to change your virtual memory. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you right here. Advanced, go to settings, and we go to advanced. This is in control panel, system, and then as you've just seen, uh, you go right here. And as you can see, I have currently 49,152 megabyte. Um, this is the amount that you need. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down below, but I think this is the amount you need to change your virtual memory in order for the miner to work. It wasn't working when I had the virtual memory at 16 gig, what it was required for Ethereum and Pro. So do that. You can try obviously with 16 gig virtual memory. If you get in an error, change to 14, uh, 9,152 and you should be okay. The other thing, as I said, uh, in my personal batch file will be in the description section. So you can just copy and paste everything, change a few things and you're ready to go. Here is the miner itself, crypto uh, night, crypto note, whatever. Let's close this as well as, uh, I always recommend for people to do that if you're new to uh, mining, you go to run, shell, startup, and then you create yourself a shortcut. It's very easy to do. If you're not familiar, right click on this, create a shortcut, and then you place your shortcut into the start. Uh, let's delete now this, I don't need it. So as you can see, I place a shortcut right here. So if I need to restart the miner or whatever, uh, for, I don't know, for whatever reason, it will automatically start mining. I don't have to, uh, you know, access the miner and uh, manually uh, start the miner. So hopefully this comes helpful for you, if, especially if you're not familiar with these things. Now let's look at the calculator, how much it shows us that we should be making, and then I'm gonna reveal to you how much I made for the last, uh, well, for the previous 24 hours. Now I'm on day two. So here it is. I'm getting from all my five uh, mining rigs 20,900, 22,900 hashes, uh, 3,450 it is my power watts. Now if you've been following my channel, you know that when I was mining Ethereum and Pro, my power consumption was 4,200 watts. So as you can see, quite a big reduction we have right here. 1% pool fee, I believe that's how much it is, including the Claymore. 0.12 is my cost. Hit the calculate. Now I'm not quite sure why it is giving me this huge numbers in here. 941 electronium per day. That's not what I'm getting. Definitely that's not what I'm getting. Uh, is there an error? Or <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. 
uh, yet when I was checking it yesterday and on the previous videos I think where I showed you I don't know exactly it was around 720 730 unless obviously this has increased but I'm not seeing it right here so I can't tell you that this is what you're gonna be getting but you can give it a try because that's a lot of uh, coins per day that's definitely a lot of coins but I think there is something wrong with that unless I'm inputting something but those are my numbers for sure I don't know what is this right here because let, let's quickly uh, go and check something if you're not familiar how to use what to mine it is very straightforward you can go back to the main site we're gonna remove this and let's say uh, no what we're gonna do is let's say I have 6480 okay I have six uh, no I have 12 570s I have six 580s what else do I have oh I have six 470 so there you have it 30 GPUs and as you can see this is what I should be getting crypto 9 20,880 let's input this now over there so <laughs> if you're new hopefully this is useful for you because as soon as you input uh, how what GPUs you have the numbers you gotta click to be read then immediately shows you for each things that you can match the uh, you know the eta hash uh, the kryptonite the equal hash immediately shows you uh, your power uh, you know your how much you're getting from your GPUs very easy very nice tool so let's go back here so 20,880 let's input this you're gonna go right here 20,880 I believe I'm getting more because I've calculated but let's go with that 3,450 1% I don't think the pool fee is 35% not quite sure why is it showing 35% am I missing something I don't think I am 0.12 let's see that so as you can see it is showing still quite high number uh, let me see why is it showing 35% that's definitely not it it's way too high uh, but anyway what you have to remember is when it comes to this calculator it is um, estimate uh, earnings my personal earnings for the first day I received 700 uh, ETN coins that's it that's how much I got for my five mining rigs 30 GPUs um, which is not too bad so now it's very easy to calculate of course the, the um, where we are here it is so the electricity cost that's what it is because it's 0 0.12 cents but what we can do from here is we can go back to the price which is right here uh, currently 15 cents let's say so we do 700 coins times 0 0.15 uh, 105 US dollars minus uh, what was it $10 dollars let's say $10 so as you can see I'm making at the moment 95 US dollars which is not too bad that's per day what I like about the electronium um, I think it has potential in the future and uh, that is why I'm obviously mining it and the main thing I'm obviously liking is the fact the amount of cryptocurrency that we are earning per day getting 700 uh, crypto uh, you know coins per day it's a lot comparing it to other things it is a lot let's quickly now compare it very quickly to Pearl, to Ubic, to Ethereum, or to mine, and we can see w which one is obviously the most uh, profitable one. Uh, what you have to remember is that coins wise, Electronium definitely gives the most at the moment. So, first we're going to look at Ubic. I'm going to share my results. Uh, so, I had 820 mega hashes, 4200 watts. 2% let's say pool fee 0 0.12 and we hit calculate so as you can see $84 uh, mining electronium definitely more profitable at the moment moving back here now we're gonna look at Ethereum hit this same numbers 2% let's say a pool fee hit calculate and again 160 US dollars very good but I don't like the amount of Ethereum I'm earning. Comparing to how much Electronium I'm getting, it's a win-win situation. I mean, for me at least, I think it's a better uh, to mine Electronium because of the number of coins. 
uh, you know, it may be about a dollar or two extra, but at the end of the day, it, you know, earning 0.09 Ethereum per day, I think I can, eventually we can all make more money having more quantity of coins uh, rather than less. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. That's why I'm going for it. And finally, Pearl. This was what I was mining before switching to Electronium. I'm going to stick to Electronium now for, I don't know for how long. Obviously, I run a channel, I try to give you information, so therefore I do switch things around. But I'm going to try to stick to Electronium at least for a while. Wow, Pearl is killing it at the moment. 53 coins, however, but it's definitely killing it in terms of the numbers. Is that mean Pearl has gone up in price? Let's quickly look at it. Oh yeah, 2.75, 0.9% increase. Well, very good, very good for Paul. I mean, things have been going great for Paul. Let's be honest. I've only switched to Electronium because two people asked me, one of them asked me to look into it and share how to mine it. So that's why I did in this video. And the other person also told me, you know, I should switch to Electronium because I'm getting a lot of coins and this person knows that I like mining something that gives me a lot of coins that has a potential. But this is huge. Pearl is definitely very good at the moment, but we must not forget as well that when it comes to mining, difficulty and prices fluctuate. Therefore, an hour later, this could be completely different. It could be higher, it could be lower. So it could be completely different. Let's compare it real quickly. Uh, where, where it is? Here it is. What is it? No, that's not what it is. What did we say? Was it $100? No, 95. So 95 versus 131, obviously a big, big difference. I may have to consider, I'm gonna have to be honest, I may have to consider, and 53 coins per day, it's not too bad. There you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, I don't wanna make it too long, I'll try to share everything with you, if I did miss anything, uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know what is this, so we can all learn from each other, everything, all the, the, the pool link will be down below, the wallets, links, uh, the, uh, obviously the, the miner, uh, as well as my bad file information will be in the description section so you can use it change your things and and get started if you want to do so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the channel feel free to subscribe and share follow me on twitter and uh, i will see you on the next video bye for now